So hello everyone, here we have the Matic uh, 1.3 GHz VTX and RX. Uh, we're gonna take a look first at the transmitter, as you can see here. Uh, you, can, you can see all the solder pads uh, on the left side of the unit. There's also a small button to, to adjust the frequencies. Here we can see the frequency list. I don't know if, you can, if I can get this thing to focus. Mm, kind of. So this thing operates at uh, uh, it operates at six to thirty-six volts. Here on the left you can see the connections. We can have also audio out. Here's your microphone. Uh, it probably supports some sort of uh, smart audio. We can see the TX and RX uh, pins over here, ready to be soldered. Uh, and I can see a ground and 5 volts, that's probably out. 5 volt out for your cameras and other equipment. We can see also the shield over here. It's a pretty neat, compact uh, unit. Uh, let's check the weight. Okay, so the the VTX unit weighs in at 8.8 grams. And let's see the, the receiver, although that doesn't make much difference. It comes in at 13.2 grams. Both of them are pretty lightweight. Uh, now let's see the features that our receivers have. Okay, so uh, again, here we have all the available frequencies. There are um, nine, there are supposed to be nine channels. There are nine channels actually. We can see the button again for changing between the various channels. Uh, it also seems that we have some sort of uh, pads here. I think it says TX, RX, ground and 5 volts. Not exactly sure what they are supposed to do. Uh, now let's check the antennas. The antennas the packet comes with uh, are V antennas, 1.2 GHz V antennas. Um, although it comes with this kind of cumbersome connector, like we have here with a VTX, that's gonna be a bit of an issue for smaller builds, but hopefully maybe they will have um, a pigtail version. We'll see. Let's see how much the antenna weighs. That's about, let's get the right reading. It's about seven grams, 6.97 grams. So along with our VTX, that's about 16, 15.7 15 grams in total. And for the dimensions, I'll show them over the video right now. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so we have installed the VTX on uh, on the Sunehoop over here and we're just going to do a quick uh, power test with the immersion RC power meter. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to plug in a battery and see what happens. Okay, so 680 milliwatts, that's pretty good, that's even higher than it's advertised.
total die stars. Oh, we have 700 now. It even spiked at 700. Yeah, now it's consistent 700 milliwatts. That's very good. It's advertised as 600 and we're getting 714. Okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to change channels on this VTX. You keep the button pressed for 3 seconds. It's gonna start blinking. Wait. Okay, it's now blinking. And now with each button press we move up one channel, like that. And when you go to the selected channel you want to use, let's say it's um, this one, just leave it there. And that's it. You're now in that channel. Okay, thanks for watching.